everybody coming at you from my backyard near our fire pit and we have on the camera nobody <laughs> it's not what you're supposed to say hey oh hey oh we have nick i figured i'd change it up for humor okay so anyway <clears throat> due to this time of year and really really high winds and our work schedules and it getting dark at 5 30 we've been relegated to do this video at our fire pit in our backyard and what we're going to do is once we get this big fire going and down to coals we're going to cook gingerbread cake and coffee and that's how we are going to finish out 2022 so first thing we're going to do is get this fire going all right sound all right. good nick yeah all right let's do this it's also that time of the year where our fluid camera mount decides to freeze up constantly <laughs> so yeah. it gets harder to film because it quite literally starts to harden so that is true all right now i'm starting this in several different areas so that the fire will get uh it's it, we want a big giant lump of burning coals God, i'm ashamed of you starting the fire with a lighter mm. well this ain't real easy <laughs> got to do what I got to do. All right, now, as all of you may remember from years past, whenever uh, we've done our final end of the year kickoff video, getting getting rid of the year and talking about how much we hate it, <laughs> we've always the previous year, we've we've always been like. You know, oh, next year's going to be great, you know. We were like, 2020 was horrible. We're looking forward to a great 2021. And then 2021 was worse. And uh, then we did it in 20, let's see. Yeah, we did it in 2021, and it turned out to be horrible. I don't think it could have gotten any worse. Uh, I felt like 2021 was pretty okay compared to 2020. That was kind of like a break from the previous year. I don't know. But then at the end of 2021, we were just kind of sitting around the campfire one day and we were like, you know what, 2022 is probably going to come up to us and it's going to say, hold my beer to 2021. And it did. It most certainly did. There is no doubt. No. I think we're all in agreement that none of us wants to ever see or think of 2022 again. No. <laughs> so for this year, we're not even going to talk about having a, a great next year. We're just going to kind of... Well, I don't know. I feel like next year's going to be good. I, th I feel like we've been through enough that next year's just going to give us a break. I don't know. I certainly hope so. I certainly, certainly do. Look at that. That's already gone out. Yeah, that's because you didn't use a bow drill to light it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm trying to get this, this massive, this whole fire pit, I'm trying to get it all down the coals. And it may take me a little while. I mean, doesn't everybody here want to see him take 20 minutes to start the fire with a bow drill? <laughs> well, no, because we've got... I want to show you... I, can, I, you can't do that. You have to make the coffee. I, that's right. I have to make yeah. the coffee and I have to make the gingerbread and I have to show you the process on how to do it. All right. That'll be riveting. It will be. And not to mention, there's a lot of moisture in the air and everything out here is wet. This is what it was like living through 2022. <laughs> yep. All right, so we got the fire going finally. It's going to take a while. This is a, a beast of a fire, but we needed it. We needed it to spread all, all around. We, we need this stuff to turn into coals. And we're going to spread it all out here in a minute once it gets going. Uh, and then I'm going to show you how I'm going to mix up that uh, gingerbread cake mix. I told you don't... You see how big this is? I told you, don't put a whole stick of butter in this. <laughs> butter. Nick and his butter. Now that we know lighter fluid That's let it. us all down. It let so many of us down. It did, didn't it? How many people watched that video where it failed? I don't know. I can't remember. I'm sorry to y'all. We didn't know it was... Yeah. We didn't know it was going to be a, a travesty. Hey, at least we have butter. That's right. That surprisingly bursts into flames. I still can't believe that. <laughs> All right, now I still this, remember it. Okay, we got this thing going right here. We're going to let it die down a little bit. I hope it'll be about die down by the time we get our uh, stuff mixed up. Sorry, jerky camera mount. Huh? 
I started to move the camera and it jerked because it's just completely frozen. Well, this whole area is going to be warmed up in a minute. I can already feel it on my face. Spread it all around. Good old no mix gloves. All right. There we go. Fire loves chaos. So it's 2022. Yeah, so it's 2022. <laughs> all right, let's aim this over here now. And I'm going to get the stuff, and then I'm going to show you how we're going to make our gingerbread mix next, okay? Well, I've had people ask us, why do we have such a huge wood pile in the back, which is kind of diminished now, but that's so we can do things like that. Exactly. Things like this. Now, that'll be down to some nice coals here in a little <laughs> while, and then we'll add fire, we'll add fuel to the fire as we need, but I think it'll be, it'll be okay by the time we do this. Now, this is Betty Crocker gingerbread cake mix. Can you see that good? Yeah, let me zoom in a bit. Okay. Now, this, I would like for everybody to know, this is a box of garbage, okay? <laughs> this is not good cake mix, all right? But with the Chef Dave's tweak, you can tweak it, okay? This is going to be delicious. Straight off the shelf, this is garbage. Betty Crocker should be ashamed of herself. You're going to be getting some angry emails. I well, probably will. Well, if you go by what Betty Crocker says and you just dump this package You see this? Zoom in on this. What? This is garbage. <laughs> this is garbage. <laughs> Have I ever lied to y'all? <laughs> Alright, so this is what you do now, okay? You dump the garbage into the bowl. Not All the right? fire. What? I thought you put garbage in fires. No. Okay, you dump the garbage in the bowl. Now, <laughs> this is the secret. See this little jar here? This is Chef Dave's secret recipe. It is one teaspoon of ginger, one teaspoon of cinnamon, and one teaspoon of nutmeg. Sounds like garbage. No, this is the good stuff. This is, this is what helps the magic begin. All right. I probably need to, see this stuff's so lumpy here. I need to kind of break the lumps up a little bit too. Yeah. Are you, are you seeing that? We did have more butter, but the rest of it went in the fire. Yeah. I mean, we didn't get it started, so. <laughs> Nick used it as a fire starter. <laughs> All right, now, can you see this? Yeah. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to sprinkle this all over the top, just like that. All right, now, that should bring it to life. Okay, that is Chef Dave's secret. Now, according to the box of garbage, it says you're supposed to use one egg and one and a quarter cup of water. But what old Chef Dave is going to do is he's going to use one cup of water and a quarter cup of Grandma's molasses. Because anything that's got Grandma's name on it can't be bad. If it's Betty Crocker, it can be bad. All right. All right, so we're going to pour, I'm going to pour a quarter cup of this thick ooey gooey wonder right here all right oh not, you know not that's kind of you know that's a little full that's um all right so what i'm going to do now uh, is i'm going to take this ooey gooey goodness can you see the inside of the bowl here yeah okay yeah i can see it all right now what i'm doing is i'm mixing this stuff all around right here just like that And now to clean out the remaining amount, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rinse it with that water, which it's not rinsing very well. Look at that. It's a good thing I overflowed it. <laughs> it's, not even, it's not even thin in it. Heat it up near the fire. I think I'll scrape it out with that thing right there. Right there. This is a wonderful video. It is. This, this is, is a great. This load. is amazing. I hope this doesn't turn out like twenty twenty two. Brought right, to you by Betty enough. Crocker. Okay, yeah. Where we sell garbage products. That's right. Now that used to be a good mix right there. You know, they used to sell it that Betty Crocker stuff used to be just like a part of the, you know, of of just a, a seasonal type thing. Alright, so what we're gonna do now 
And that thing's nice and sticky. Ooh, that's strong. Mm, that molasses is some strong stuff. Now we got to put in one egg, minus the shells. All right, throw that over there. Make sure and bust that yolk up. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to try to stir this con conglomeration up until it gets into a nice consistency. Now, years ago when I used to make things, I used to put them in a bag and knead them, and you can do that if you want to, but you need a bag to do that. And with this, you just stir and stir and stir until it's all liquid and gooey and even. But if you put it in a bottle like I used to do and shake it up, you're adding oxygen to it and you're ruining it. You're making it where it won't work. I should have brought two of these stirs and stirred with both hands. I hope this ain't lumpy. You know, I should have took the bag and kneaded the bag with my fingers to make the lumps go away. Nick, am I ever going to live it down if this is horrible? Well, you did use Betty Crocker. Yeah, that's true. Look, the fire's starting to burn down the coals. Can you hurry up? I've got to go send Betty Crocker some hate mail. All right. <laughs> the employees of Betty Crocker are going to be hating on me. They hate both of us now. Yeah. <laughs> well, the thing is, is you can buy that box of gingerbread cake mix. And if you do the Dave's additions, it'll be perfectly fine. Now, look at that. There was another lump there. Man, how do you get the lumps out of this stuff? I bet, I bet that's what I should have done. You know, I should have... I should have... Uh, by making it with actual kitchen utensils instead of well, in a this pan is how I would, outside. This, no, this is how I would do it if I was on the, on, out on the trial. I guess that's good enough. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take some butter. What we're going to do is we're going to rub a dub dub. This Man, I really used too much of that butter, didn't I? Huh? I really, I really used too much of that butter in the fire, didn't I? I'm going to rub the bottoms, and I'm going to rub the sides. Now, there's two reasons for this. For one thing, those of you that use cooking spray, that spray, the majority of that spray is butane, which is not very tasty. And now, the, the, But the two reasons for this, that you want to rub your pans down, is because not only does it make it non-stick to where your, your gingerbread cake mix won't stick, but it also gives a nice golden crunchiness to that outside. Good old butter. You can, you can never you can never have too much butter. Look at that. Now I've lost my grip. <laughs> Paula is, Dean would like to endorse our video. That's right. Now this is a mess. This is a mess at a campsite. All right, let's put a little bit more in here. Cleanup's horrible, too, at campsite when you cook things like this. All right, so what we're going to do now... Is when you smear an inch-thick layer of butter on everything. <laughs> okay, what we're going to do now is this is a roasting pan for, like, a chicken. And so what you want to do with that is that the, the metal pan is going to sit in there so that it's held off the bottom, because if this was just sitting in the bottom, it'd burn. And then you put the lid on it and then you put wood on top. This little thing right here, you don't want to set this directly on the bottom. You want to use something like an old, uh, this is a part of a percolator. You want to set it on it so that it's not touching the bottom. So let's pour this stuff up. Let's pour some of this in here. Pour a little in here. I think you want to be about an inch deep. Let's go right there. Because I think this is going to overflow. Alright. Oh, Paul! 
fantastic. <laughs> Alright, this is good enough. This better be edible when we get done. <laughs> I'm going to be a very upset. I'll say we tried. Alright, so there we go now. What we're going to do, it doesn't help that we're on a hill. So what we're going to do here is this is going to set inside here. Just like that. You know, there's a glob of butter on the side of that. That's all right. It'll 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 find its way in. And then we're going to put this here and this here, just like that. Now what we're going to do? All right, cut that off just a second while I go get some sticks to move the fire around. Put this around just a little bit. Just a little bit. All right, we got we got coals. I don't know how long we're going to have coals, but we don't really don't need flames anymore. No, we do. So what we want to do now, man, that's hot. Is I want to try to. Gee, I went numb all the way over here. Yeah, I want to try to move this <laughs> stuff around to where I think it's going to be level. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in there like that. Kind of scoot it around. I think that'll be pretty level right there. Then put the lid on. Alright. And then we're gonna put this on. And I'm putting it in without the lid so that I can make sure it's centered and reasonably level. I swear if I find wood in that. There ain't gonna be no wood in it. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take a couple of these. And then I'm gonna set these on top. Hey, you got your watch on? What time is it? Uh, 5:05. 5:05. 5 5:05. Okay, we're gonna check it at 5:35. All right, so we're gonna put a couple of these on, and we're gonna hope we're gonna hope that it's done in 30 minutes. There's better ways of doing that like with a shovel or any other way yeah or any other way <laughs> now, I don't know how well this is gonna work well I'll probably check the small one first and the beauty of doing it this way is if you burn one you've got the other as a backup Isn't that cold uh-huh and I can eat the good one and you can take the bad one right. or we can both just drink coffee Oh, yeah, yeah, we can do that. Ooh, it's got into my eyes. All right. And you like having a lid that's got a little bit of a lip on it. I need to put a log. There's one. I'll drag this over here. This needs to be kind of in between the two because they're touching. All right, that's that. Now what we want to do... Uh, I think your stick was on fire. I was. <laughs> now we got this ring over here. We got that ring that we're gonna put. Let's see. I already got the water in here. I gotta see if that thing is gonna work all right. Yeah, that's gonna work. Now we're going to do this. Let's see. We've got to make our coffee now. Coffee should be ready before the other stuff. A lot of people don't use paper like this, but this is a fine ground. Now, unlike this trash in a box <laughs> that you have to modify, this is the world's most perfect coffee. Dallemeyer. It's from Germany. It is absolutely perfect. Now, oh, I thought you said that was uh, Valero gas station coffee. No, that wasn't me. That was a co-worker. But anyway, <laughs> this stuff here, yeah, it's pretty fine ground, so you have to use this. Now, I don't know what the deal is with this stuff, but if you, uh, 
if you make it on an electric perk or you know somehow some way if you make it at home on the coffee in a coffee machine it's not quite as good but on any of the other coffees if you make them they're about the same whether you make them over a fire or over the stove but there's something about the heat and the cycle of this percolator that literally makes this the best coffee on earth over a fire just like this there's nothing better so let's lower it down I may have to scoop some of that wood over to it a little bit closer Whew, that stick felt warm right there told you it was on fire yeah it was look at the end of it That's weird. These things right here on top of this have flames coming off of them, but these don't. That is weird. There's ash everywhere. When you're doing this stuff, sticks are your friend. Let's scoot all this over here. And then I'm going to put one more over here. Yeah. Sticks are pretty good. Yeah. Good for moving stuff around on the fire or fending off a coyote attack at night. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to put a few more of these under here. These small ones to kind of get the flames. Well, the flames are doing pretty good right there. Yeah. I'm going to try to pick this one piece up right there. That looks kind of, that looks a lot. Yeah, I was. What? Yeah, I was fixing to say something. That looks like there's a, a lot of extra flame around the smaller pod. Yeah. And that the sticks on top of it are actually on fire. Look, I can't hardly pick this stuff up. I should have flattened out a couple of sticks. Yeah, the others are... The, see, over there they're smoldering, but these over here are actually on fire. Yeah. Alright. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> it's best if you'll baton these sticks. They make them fly at, and that way they'll 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 pick things up a lot better. Where'd my gloves go? Here they are. Now, hopefully, hopefully. See, I think that's the difference between hardwood and pine. I think the hardwood are staying flamed up, and I think the pine is just sort of turned into into coals. Sometimes we want more flames over here to get this perk going. So I'm throwing all these small sticks all around it. Or if you want me to, I can throw the rest of that butter on it. <laughs> Give me do that. Sure. <laughs> you want me to? Let's see what happens. <laughs> we did that on the 2021 video. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Let's see if it just burst into flames. Can you see the butter from where you're at? Yeah. I don't think there's any fire around it. Let's throw some paper under there. <laughs> Great, we're now those people. That's alright, it's a backyard fire pit. That's on top of the butter. That'll give our percolator a, a kick. I it ain't gonna flame up like it did that one day. I hear sizzling though. <laughs> it is sizzling. All right, we better cut that off, Nick. That scene is getting too long. We'll cut now the, <clears throat> the coals are doing exactly what they're supposed to be doing over on where I'm uh, baking and the percolator over there I had to add uh, some fire I had to add some sticks to it for the flames because you want the flames to completely preheat the pot the way it is and sometimes you know like if it's going to burn your stick here sometimes you even want to move it around a little bit and maybe manipulate it to get it going but it's fixing to start percolating and the thing is is as soon as it starts percolating if the flames stayed that high, that pot might overflow. But the cool thing is, is what you do is you keep adding the small fuel to get the flames until it starts perking. And then by the time these burn back down the coals, you'll continue perking from the heat. Or 
you can change see up top where that ring is this ring right here you can lower it down over the fire just a little bit and I'll do that in just a minute now one thing I want to tell you I want to talk about real quick here is uh, whenever you're doing things over a campfire if you're using a, a aluminum aluminum type cookware generally there's going to be there's going to be liquids in it just like that hanging over the fire now <clears throat> when you're in the process of baking okay there's a difference between frying and cooking and boiling because you got flames hitting the bottom of the pot but when you're actually baking over a campfire what you're doing is you're taking a vessel a pan of some kind with a lid and you're heating the air inside it you're not necessarily just heating the bottom and just like we did here you're, you're putting something inside the middle and you're engulfing it in hot air but you're not cooking from the bottom and that's why you have to space up off the bottom now the thing I want to say about this is when you put anything in a fire without liquids if it's aluminum and aluminium you'll burn it up it's got to be stainless steel like this or like those two you can get like a, a roasting pan anywhere online or at a thrift store or estate sale and then these smaller pans they still make all these different stainless steel pans on you know, let's get them at Amazon and Walmart and places but you just need something I see that right there it almost started boiling over it's percolating let me get you a close-up of that I, I won't even have to lower it down That's what you want. All right, we're going to let that percolate for probably five minutes, and then I'm going to lift it up. Percolated enough, so we're going to try to pour some now. Oh, there goes a stick. While old Dave makes himself a new stick. Yeah. All right, let's hope this stuff is the right color. Now, the first little bit you want to pour out. Uh, I gotta look away for this. This is because of oh the god, ash. it's too hard. Oh, wasting coffee. <laughs> oh, I think this is gonna be strong, Nick. Too strong. No, nah, there's no such thing. Mm. <laughs> Man, that is strong. All us fells were here. We can just get some half and half. We may have boiled away a lot of the water. All right. So to keep it from getting cool, what I'm gonna do? See this ring here? Ring a ding ding. We're going to run it all the way up to <laughs> here, so that we're. You can run it all the way up to here, really. And then put your hand. See. See, it's still plenty warm at this height. All right, is it 5:35? Um. Ooh, it's 5:36. Okay, let's ooh. try the small one. I see. This is what you should really do. Is cut some flats on there, so that you can actually grab things and move things around. And you Bats. hold the lid down with one and try to rake the stuff off with the other. All right, moment of truth. Say at least get it off the edges. Oh no, it's burnt to a crisp. Uh. Oh no. That's yours. Well, that's ruined. <laughs> Look at it. Oh no. <laughs> Well, what's that little bit of color I see poking out there? Well, I wonder if we could cut the top off. I see some something. Um, well, you... Uh, oh, well... You could eat the inside of it. Okay, yeah, maybe. maybe I'm... Man. Well, see, this was a learning experience for me. Well, it smells good, actually. It does. Okay, so... See, here's the thing, Nick. Don't this... eat the top, and I say definitely probably don't eat the bottom. Yeah. Well, this is a learning I don't know. Experience. Maybe you can look at the bottom. Oh, it's nice and fluffy. Mm. Alright, well, let's get the big one out. Maybe the big one did okay. Uh, there we go. Moment of truth. There we go. 
Oh, there's ashes all in the coffee. Oh, okay. No, there ain't. Well, it's all over me. Okay. Yeah, tops. That's burnt too. Yeah, okay. you're a wonderful chef. Yeah, that's what I get for insulting Big Ben Crocker. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Her ghost has come back and smited us. Oh man. <laughs> well, we're just gonna have to try the inside. Well, we've always been known for our humor. Well, this turned out wonderfully. Yeah, hey, we have coffee. Yeah, we have coffee. Oh, man. <laughs> I can't believe this. I don't know. Cut me off a sliver. Let me try a nibble of it. All right, let, me try a let me try a nibble of the black stuff before you... No way. You don't want that, do you? I'm at least going to try it and see if it's... I don't know. I've had something before that was that dark color, but... It's super you know, hot. Really... See if you can touch it. Well, my fingers are numb. I can't believe that. We should have gone 20 minutes. I don't know. That black stuff's not bad. Well, I mean, yeah, you can yeah. probably eat it. They have blackened food. I mean, it's co it's colored, but it's not... It's not like ashy or anything. Yeah. Especially if you eat it good side down. Well, this is... Like I said, this is a learning experience. Oh, nope. After flavor. Okay. Oh, yep. Okay. Out. You don't want that. <laughs> Let's see if we can get something good out of this. Yeah. Well, what I do taste is actually really good. Hey, look at that. Oh, is it not burned on the bottom? No. Well, I didn't scrape. I, I scraped the bottom like that. I hate to waste, but... Don't eat that, That flavor is going to be in my mouth for a couple hours. Well, the thing is, is we want to know if the flavor is good because, see, the thing is, is I, I'm gonna. Oh tell yeah, the I tasted truth. it a little bit. I'm gonna tell the truth. You wanna, you wanna spoon that? Mm, yeah, sure. All right. I guess we're not deep enough in the woods to eat it with our hands. Nah. But anyway, here's the <laughs> thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you the truth. Is when I was looking for this Betty Crocker stuff, I looked at the reviews for this gingerbread cake mix. Mm, and extremely it was, good. It is. Mm -hmm. All right. Now you know I got another box in the house. Look, we got this one too. All right, let's see. Oh, we'll, do huh? we'll do that not over a fire. Huh? We'll do that not over a fire. Do it in the oven. Well, no, I just we'll go to. I bet twenty minutes would be perfect. You know what I mean? Or less wood on Ow. top. Okay, it's definitely hot on bottom. All right. Well, let me try. There it goes. Mmm. Wow. I'm impressed. Why am I just tasting this now? Or has this been all my life? I'm 24 and I've never had this before. <laughs> Thanks, know. you're a wonderful well, parent. <laughs> I've had, I've had gingerbread, I've had gingerbread bread, but I've never had gingerbread cake, and I've had gingerbread cookies. Now here's the thing, I'm gonna come clean, okay? Now, I was looking on, on the Betty Crocker website where there was multiple reviews for this, because I thought about buying it, and everybody was like, this is horrible. You've changed something. This has no no flavor. It just tastes like a muffin. And so, this one woman, she posted on there. She said, I put in my allspice and a quarter cup of molasses. And so, I was like, and she said, it turned out delicious. She said, you have to do this. And so... I searched for allspice and I couldn't find it. And then I finally found the recipe and it said that allspice is a mixture, equal amounts of ginger, cinnamon, nutmeg, and cloves. Now I left the cloves off because it just didn't sound good. That's how good it is. I already ate it all. Mm. <laughs> you can dig more out of this little one right here. That's pretty good though. The flavor is delicious. Mm -hmm. I wonder... Coffee may be too hot. Too hot. Okay, if it's too hot fury, then for me it's gonna burn my mouth. Yeah. Hey, let me grab just a little bit and of And I'm not gonna be able to taste anything for a whole day. Let me grab a little bit of water. Hey, once this cools off, Nick, you can you can take your spoon and just dip right out of the middle. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Is it still you know, it's... No, it's fine. The sides are fine, I can hold it from there. Yeah, the bottom's burnt. Man, that flavor is delicious, though. 
That flavor is fantastic. Yeah, it's real good out of this one, too. Mm -mm. Now, like I said before, we always leave in the bad stuff. <laughs> that stain coming off it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> we could redo this with the other box, but we're showing you what to not do. <laughs> Don't Man. put it over a fire. Or at least not for... Well, I think it might be because the sticks on top were actually on fire versus just smoldering. Maybe it was yeah, just a bit too much. Yeah. I didn't think... I didn't think it was going to be too much. I thought it was going to be about right from some of my baking in the past. Oh, the edges are... The edges are burnt. Yeah, throw them out. Squirrels will get them. But anyway, like I said... If I was a squirrel, I wouldn't need that. Like I said, I am. It's fixing to get dark here. I am not going to say anything about how good or bad 2023 is going to be. I let's, think it'll be good. I've I've been feeling it. Okay. Let's just say that we're going to hope that it's going to be a good one. The years are now like versions of Microsoft Windows. Every other one is good, and every other one is bad. Yeah. Hey, I saw that. It goes good, yeah. bad, good, bad. The, this is this is actually the perfect video, okay? See this? This is 2022, <laughs> okay? It's a burnt mess. <laughs> Bye, 2022. All right, cut it off. I'm gonna get a little bit of water and put it in there. We got like 10 minutes of daylight left. <laughs> yeah, it ain't good. We're gonna have to clean up here. It's going fast. All right, I'm gonna put a shot of water in here to kind of cool it off and maybe right now it's weak ah, Nick that was a way stronger than what we're used to drinking it good coffee's blacker than our gingerbread <laughs> yeah all right so let's try it sure, I really wish hot. I could reach mine I'll hand it to you eventually still hot still <laughs> strong and remember that's got a carabiner on it okay all right, well, we're not, like I said, we're, we're pretty much, you know, we're showing you what to not do. If this had been successful, this would have been great. I'm just glad. Look at that. The bottom of the pan's not even burnt that bad. This is amazing. This is uh, always so different than coffee made any other way. I know it is. See, this pan here, look at the color of the bottom of it. <laughs> Oh, well, that was inside that. That's why it's not. Oh, yeah. Look, here's it. <clears throat> it was just super heated. Here's a chunk I scooped out of it. <laughs> That's the bottom. Well, anyway, <laughs> we had fun. Uh, we got to eat a few bites of it out of the middle. Uh, you know, I think it'd been better if we'd have put the whole thing in this pan right here and made it taller. There'd have been more to eat. But, like I said, that was the very first time I've ever done this. I didn't even know that stuff even existed. So, if you want to try this, go about 20 minutes on it, and I think you'll be successful. And uh, I don't know, we may we may do another box over the campfire. I think maybe anyway. maybe uh, 10 less minutes on it. 15 less minutes. I think 20 minutes ought to get it. 20 ought to be plenty, I think. That or, I don't know. <clears throat> it's a pretty roaring fire. I don't know, it's kind of hard to regulate the coals, though, over a fire. But, whatever. Uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, and to whatever other celebrations you have that I'm not aware of, I hope it's a happy one. And if you don't celebrate anything, enjoy your time off of work. <laughs> And enjoy your family. And if you don't like your family, enjoy your friends. <laughs> Anything you want to add, Nick? Uh, no. Nah. Glad to see the year go. Yep. Next year's going to be good. Yep. I'm feeling it, it now. It's going to be a good year. There. I just said it. That's a good way to end the video. All right. Yeah. 2022. Well, no, that's 2023, the good part in the middle. Yeah, we had to get through the yeah. bad part first, and then we can get to the good. It's a good analogy. <laughs> All right, well, enjoy life, have fun, love your family, 
uh, love life, and we shall see you in the next one. Have a good one. Doesn't even make good tender. There, there it goes. It goes. <laughs> it's useful for something. <laughs> 2022 and Betty Crocker, we salute you.